Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, a friend of mine, Joey, which you've seen him in that <laughs> dishwashing experiment video, he bought an old house out in Iowa. And in it, he found this here old Gateway 2000 computer. From looking at it, from the model number, it's uh, DX2-66. So I think it's an old um, 4666 megahertz. So it could be running Windows 95, maybe 98. Who knows? It could even be 3.1. Don't know if this thing's gonna work. We wanna just power it up and just see if it turns on, if it does, if there's anything on it, and if it works. Now check out the back of this thing. This thing's got no USB ports on it. It does got an old ass modem. We kinda need to see how <laughs> the speeds that thing has. All right guys, so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens coming right up. Yeah, I doubt it would work, because why would you leave behind a perfectly good computer, you know? Whoa, she's loud. She turns on. That's the fan. Oh, the hard drive's bad. Oh. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that is really bad. Click, 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 click. Ooh. Envelope configuration. System battery is dead. It's 486, 66 megahertz. Look at that. Guess was good. And how much RAM is in this? Oh my gosh, 23 megabyte. Hmm. She's loaded. IRQs, man. I haven't seen IRQs in forever. Oh, it's not even picking up the hard drive. Look at. Yeah. Yeah. I've never even heard of one of those batteries going dead. Operating system not found. And no surprise with the hard drive sounding like it is. It seems to be working now. Yeah. Should be able to just pop a hard drive in it and load up 95 on it. Yeah, I mean you got 95. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but to make it authentic, you have to put 19, Windows 95 on 30 floppy disks. <laughs> so let's open it up, take a look on the inside now. Here. And the sound card is huge. Not as dusty as I thought it would be. Man, that modem. Yeah, yeah. that's huge. I telephone remember, modem. I remember that kind of modem. I used to have one. There's the big hard drive right back there making noises that not very happy noises that not even showing up. That's a shame. I'd love to see what would have been on there. I haven't seen RAM chips like this in a long time either. It looks like it's had an upgrade. Oh yeah, definitely not the originals. One size is bigger than the other. That's weird. I haven't messed with those kind of chips in a while. I'd like to get to the processor. It's which right one? there. Which one is the sound card? Is that the sound card? Found it. Uh, yes. That'd be the sound card. And there's the 66 the megahertz tank. processor right there. That tiny little heat sink. Just sitting right on it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Look at that sound card. No fan, no nothing. Ah, it is creative technology. Vibra 16. Creative Tech 94. There's dates all over this thing. February 17, February 17. <laughs> Canada. Oh. Tiny little heat sink, no fan. Socket 3. <laughs> wow. Old school. I bet everything, I bet it still works. <laughs> You just, it just looks like it. It's just the hard drive is. You can help us, Sasha. Alrighty, guys. So that's the gateway. Keep an eye out for a video in the future because I actually got an old IDE hard drive that will work in this computer. So I kind of want to actually get it in there and see if I can get Windows 95 installed on this old beast of a gateway. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.